four. All I'm gonna do is this. Okay? Be careful. I'm gonna do something back. Brand new 2020. You're not supposed to put the stage four kit on it. Uh, Harley Davidson doesn't recommend it because it's too much power for a trike, really. But Dale's a, been riding since he was a kid, so let's hope it works out. Nice trike wheelies. That came up like nothing, like at 2,000 RPM. Yeah, just boom. you just twist the wick and it stands up. So uh, describe the stage four kit. <coughs> what do you get? This was the stage five kit. Oh, stage five. Yeah. And it's from the base gaskets to the top. The motor looks huge. The jugs look massive. How many cc's is 131 cubic 100, inch? 131. <coughs> That's over 2,000 cc's, isn't it? Yeah. I I have no idea what the torque is on it, but the dyno is uh, 158. Holy shit. That's almost 160 horsepower. Wow. Runs like a scalded dog, Ken. All you gotta do is just snap the throttle and it'll stand up on command. Wow. A six speed tranny. The little definite, uh, <laughs> the little demonstration that we did, if you weren't ready for that, it would throw you off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got a nice passenger uh, rack and you got a trunk on it too, right? So you can store yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, this one opens up and there's a lot of storage in here. Is this one called the Tri Glide? This is called the Free Wheeler. Free Wheeler. Yeah. Free Wheeler. 2020. It was a 114 cubic inch, so we took the 114 to the 131. But to do it right, you have to change the ECM. You got to uh, change the injectors. This you is gotta, this is second one that you've had, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have to take the exhaust completely off. And if you can get the catalytic converter out of it, that's what I did. Instead of buying the new one, I I sliced it. You ever, you ever drag these vans and Heinz wheelie in? Do those drag when you wheelie? Those will drag, yeah. Yeah, that's They're like my your wheelie those bars. are wheelie bars, yeah. That's what we're gonna build for it, Ken. We're gonna build a set of stainless steel you wheelie kinda, bars. You kinda need it. Because when you come out of the hole with it real hard, you know, the front end is standing straight up. The pipes are dragging. How's, how's it on the highway when, when you're like at 60, it, 70, 80? It runs down the road like a Ferrari. No shit. Yeah. They got it figured out finally, they, huh? Yeah, they really got it figured out. 2015 was when I was invited to take one out for the day. Compliments yep. of, of Harley. You didn't like it, right? I, I didn't like it at all. It was all over the road. And I said, when they get the handling problem straightened out, I'll, I'll buy one. Well, Money. my buddy called me. Breakfast is ready. Breakfast is ready. Thank you, honey. You're and welcome. What, what do you got they for got me today? I got you yeah. a nice breakfast sandwich, and I'm going to give you some more toast. Thank you, baby. Isn't she the best? She I, is the best. <laughs> if I could clone her, we could make a million. Uh, multi millions. <laughs> <laughs> she's worth. She's like winning a lotto ticket for sure. But anybody that buys one, I recommend buying the heavy duty Kohler shroud. On the bottom there? Yeah. Yeah, the, I rode it, this up in Canada. Does she run I, She run hot in traffic being a 131? I'm sorry, Ken? She run hot in traffic because it's a 131? It, it runs ice cold, and the 131 doesn't change any of its uh, heat by burning you. Like on the back cylinder, I, I, I haven't noticed it any hotter or any colder. So what is it, what, what is a stage 5? Uh, you got stage 4 heads. What, what do they do? They they, they change, change some other components on that? They give you new pistons, pins. High compression, probably? Uh, yeah, they bump the compression up in it. They give you a new cylinder. They give you new heads. They're, they're the CNC heads, which they're they're done pretty nice. Yep. Uh, and you change the cam. But if you do all that and you don't take the exhaust and make it to where you... Uh, you got to have a little bit of back pressure, but you got to get the catalytic converter out of it, or it stalls it at like 130 horse. You can't get over 130 out of it. So after after going through the process of uh, selecting a building, would, would, you, would you do it again? Yeah. You, so you recommend this configuration, the yeah. stage four? I think this is one of the funnest motorcycles that I've ever owned and rode. And if you're not careful, it, it will hurt you because it, it hits like a CR500. When it yeah. hits the power, and if you're not holding on, or you're driving with one hand, it will throw you off of it. Uh, you, you had a serious back injury uh, 
some time ago that impacted your your doctors told you not to ride again. So this is this has been extending your riding career pretty much, right? Well, I didn't want to listen to the doctor, and they said quit riding bikes, blah blah blah, and I did it. That's like, like saying quit breathing. Yeah, quit, quit breathing. <laughs> yeah. So I kept riding until I was almost in a wheelchair, and then I went and bought the trike. And I said, this will keep me riding. If I would have knew I could have this much fun, I would have bought one earlier. And uh, It is a beautiful piece, man. But they didn't have this Stage 5 kit until 2020, I believe. The best part is they got a guy who's been riding since you were five years old back in the wind with no issues. And you can ride all day because you got the all, back support on here. All day long, your back feels good, your ass feels good. That's a factory seat. Last year when we were down here uh, with Discovery filming, the camera guy was on the back of your bike and right. you, you had a full dresser and you actually hurt your back because you're holding him up and the bike and you got twisted. And that's about when you threw in the towel, right? When, when I rode the camera guy around with that big camera and had to support me, him, the bike, the camera, at the end of that ride we were on, Ken, I was almost out of gas. And I said, that's it. It's time to listen to the doctor. So I called when I was down here with you and I bought it on the phone the first one yeah this is your second one yeah this is the second one. you didn't do the stage kit uh, on the first one did no you? no i i actually uh couldn't have did the stage kit on the on the earlier models yep because the stage kit only fits on the 114 and up okay so it came stock as a 114 this right. this is my ride i got a cbo 110 dyno it's a 2007 this has a full now, George, the horsepower man, doesn't like to call them stage one, two, three, fours, but this would be equivalent to a, a stage four, I believe, if you were to call it that. It's got the Thunder header. It's got the open intake on it. He put uh, uh, Screaming Eagle cams on it, Screaming Eagle cam plate, uh, changed the valves, Beehive valve springs, port of the head, high compression pistons, uh, pretty much everything you could think of doing on it. Uh, I wanted a bike that could sit in traffic in Daytona and, and not overheat. So that's putting out 105.79 rear wheel horsepower. He could have got more, but I didn't want a wild state of tune that would burn it up. So that's my daily rider. Here's my XR60L. This, this, was, this was Dale's, this was Heavy D's bike, but when he hurt his back, uh, his doctor told him, knock it off or he's gonna be in a wheelchair. So um, rather than give, give up, you know, he, Dale hooked me up, gave me a great deal on the bike. I bought the 650 and now Junior has one. In fact, you had, you had the same I had that uh, what, same, same came Screaming to, Eagle, yeah. Yep, you came to the museum a couple years ago. You had the twin to this one. That was, that was, um, and so, some bozo smashed it up on you, right? Yep, that was my favorite Dyna out of all the Dynas or all the bikes I, I've had. That bike right there rode the best, handled the best, and it ran good right out of the factory. Yeah, we, we, I love, Christy loves this bike. I had this and the Dyna S, the black one. She goes, I want you to keep this one. When, when we got shut down by the state for the COVID, yeah. the museum, I started panicking and I was in like panic mode. So I sold my Harleys and sold one of my, my Ford F450. It cashed out and uh, carried us until we started moving stuff. But she said, don't sell this one. So we kept this one right here. No regrets. It's a 07. It's got the old inch shocks. The old inch shocks that you had on, on yours. I bought them for mine too. Yeah. I, yeah, I have your old set after your bike got totaled, remember? Yes. You, you hooked me up, so I have a set of Olins that are on your bike. We're an Olins dealer, and uh, I just put them on my FXR, and they're awesome. 13 and 13 and a half inch Olins handles. You know, I had a back injury and surgery in this is 2017. I crushed three discs on a dirt bike, case to triple, and um, these shocks in that seat, that it may not be the prettiest seat, it's pretty big, but it, it pretty much it makes it so I can ride again, and Christy's super comfortable got to have good shocks in a seat once you get a little older you know i'm gonna be 56 in april so and i ain't like i've been sitting behind a desk i'm gonna beat myself up my whole life so anybody that has a back injury or a bad ankle or knee problems or hey or even no no i have a friend that has has no like right street bikes you know he's at one leg if you've been you know injured and you're missing a limb or something this is the solution this you know? is the one that you want to buy if you're not ready for the big triglide, yep. the four pack and all that stuff, I was real hard pressed if I would ever buy one of those. But when this model came out in 2015, I followed it real close. And uh, this was my stepping stone off of the motorcycles into the trike. It has all the performance you'd ever want. It has a little styling that is not so old guy looking. 
Yeah, it looks badass straight up, and and it is it is badass. 158 horsepower is absolutely freaking ridiculous. There's probably not a lot of Harleys in town with more power than that. Guys, we are on the infield of the Daytona International Speedway. Today's day one of Bike Week. It is March 5th. Heavy D just stopped by to say hello. We're gonna have a little breakfast, and then we're going out riding. But uh, stay tuned. We got some killer footage coming here. We'll do a vlog every day. Junior's coming into town uh, with Billy. Billy's Junior's flying in. Billy drove the, the CR500 and, and uh, a KLR650 for him to ride down here. And he's racing right over there in the Amateur Supercross on Tuesday. So we're going to be front row on the line. And hopefully Junior will kick ass on his 500. So stay tuned. There'll be lots of good footage coming. One more thing about this, Ken. If somebody has a pretty fast bike that they enjoy that they ride because they need the motor. They they love the excitement. This bike will hurt you if you're not careful with it. Once you do the big board kit, the 131, and if you push it over the top like we did, we squeezed every last horsepower out of that motor. And it is a blast to ride. It fills my void of uh, horsepower. Adrenaline junkie. Fast bikes. Yeah. And this one here is probably the last trike you've ever seen CD buy. So, Dale, you've been riding since you were five. You've owned probably over a thousand motorcycles. You had a collection of 300 bikes at one time. So, I've, like for for a beginning rider, 158 horsepower is probably not the way to go. Right. But uh, if you're an expert rider, this gets you back in the wind on something that you won't get bored with. You can ride wheelies. You can do hole shots. You can, you know. Well, drag race on it through light to light you know and, keep, and keep in mind fun. when i bought that it was a 114 that was the biggest thing that they had other than uh some of the screaming eagle stuff yeah but it ran very acceptable at a 114 yeah it now runs twice as good a 114s are pretty badass doesn't like right out yeah. right out the box it, i mean a that's a nice motor yeah so yeah. so you, you went from good better to best well, congratulations on keeping it in the wind, guys. If you uh, want to extend your riding years, get the free wheeler and uh, send it. Keep it in the wind. So, guys, for me, it's a message of hope. Or Dale got the bad news about his back. His doctor told him not to ride. What did you tell your doctor? <laughs> I uh, I broke my back in five five places. I crushed the vertebrae and uh, didn't walk for quite quite some time. And uh, I was told not to do anything or you would end up being in a wheelchair. And uh, I didn't listen. I kept riding, I kept riding, and I knew one day I was gonna have to give up riding. And I tried a lot of three-wheelers, and there was none of them gave me the feeling of, I got something that's pretty cool. And uh, this three-wheeler is in between your motorcycle and a big old tri-glide grandpap trike. And I knew Which I you weren't was, ready for. You weren't I ready for the Grand I was not Pat, ready right? for the big old tri got tri -gli I don't even want to say it. tri -glide. From here forward, it's, yeah. it's a road king, it looks like, almost, yeah, you know? It's, it's or pretty heritage. much a road king. Yeah. But, uh, but this one here had enough styling that I thought, hey, if I want to take the fenders off of it and put a big set of slicks on it, I, I, there's a, a ton of stuff that I could do to it to make it neater than hell. But the big thing is, it doesn't hurt my back. And if you got a bad back, you know what I'm talking about, back pain. Yep, and, uh, I've but, been there. But this thing right here, Ken, it has put me back in the game. And uh, I had some choices to make. Do I quit riding? And you know how many bikes I bought in, uh, in a couple years trying to <laughs> find a bike. I would buy two bikes a week and ride them and go, well, that one there didn't help. And then we'd sell it. So, But this one here was... The answer to my horsepower crave that you got to have horsepower and uh, it's comfortable. How, how old are you, Dale? I'm 62. 62 years old, mul multiple broken vertebrae, back in health, back on the bike, back in the wind, didn't take no for an answer. That's the message I'm getting, you know, that they uh, get back out on the wind because, uh, you know, you don't see these motorcycles parked in front of a psychologist's office. Well, if you know? you're not not able to ride because of too much pain this is the where i would say to start and if you're a horsepower junkie like myself buy the big bore kit the 131 and you can go crazy with that kit you can make 160 horsepower if you desire but uh, the whole package deal is 
it makes me happy to ride it. I, I got a smile on my face from the day I bought it to when I ride it, that smile's there every day. That's what it's all about. And, that, and that's what it's about. Uh, well, that, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm back in the game. I'm not riding a two-wheeler, but I'm riding something that if this comes by you and you can't catch it, just smile because it's got all the horsepower and it's a blast to ride. Well, thank you for sharing your hope of uh, your message of perseverance and hope for the guys that you know may have got injured in, in uh, the war or an accident or, or diabetes, or whatever, lost a limb. They can get back out in the wind just like you and send it. Well, just so everybody knows, I rode these when they first come out, 2015. I wasn't happy with how it ran. I wasn't happy with how it handled. Over the years, they they got some of the issues that they had uh, out of them. This bike here goes right down the road, straight. And I'll say it again, with that 131 motor, it is a blast to ride. Well, thanks for sharing your, your journey. Guys, stay tuned. More great stuff to come here at Daytona. We're about to take a ride down of Lucy County Speedway. And... Uh, We'll have some great footage for you there. Thanks for watching, and as always, ride safe, be careful, and we'll see you in the funny pages. And God bless the United States of America.